Hi viewers, welcome again to Queen's Kitchen. Today you must have noticed that I started my video by playing table tennis. That's what my hobby is. I try to do it every uh, now and then, uh, two to three days a week. So reason behind it, to apart from eating yummy food, we have to stay fit. So for that, we always have to do some kind of physical activity. I play like to play table tennis, but you can choose any, do some yoga exercises or walking or go to gym which is really important for your health. Now let's go quickly to the recipe. Today's recipe which I'm going to share with you is called chickpeas and all in Punjabi it's called Amritsari Chole. We have some uh, special techniques and special blend of um, spices which go into it to make it, give, uh, make it authentic flavor. So give it authentic flavor. So for that, please uh, let's go to the recipe quickly and have a look at how we make Amritsari Chole or chickpeas. For making chickpeas curry, I have taken dried chickpeas soaked overnight with some uh, chickpea lentils which has been soaked as well. For making chana masala or chickpea masala, I am taking some cumin seeds, some coriander seeds, some black pepper pods and some gooseberries, dried gooseberries and one cinnamon stick and also I have added some uh, cloves and black cardamom now grind them to a powder this is a homemade masala which i always use to make my chickpea curry and the aroma is just i can't describe in words i wish you could be in my kitchen right now and just have a feel of it it's so flavorful so always try to make this and when you make this curry especially now i am taking my pressure cooker and adding my soaked chickpeas and my chana dal or chickpea lentils into it followed by two bay leaves some carrot seeds some salt to taste and one teaspoon of red chili powder now I'm adding my homemade chana masala or chickpea masala which we just did and we'll add approximately one bowl of water mix all these ingredients together and now we will cover our pressure cooker and cook it for approximately 10 to 15 minutes in the meantime I'm preparing for my tempering for which I have taken some garlic which I will grind in my manual grinder or hand grinder as you can see at the same time I'll grind my onions but you can also cut into long pieces and add into chickpea curry which can can also go but I'm just grinding because my kids love it to be grinded not pieces of onions they don't like that now along with these I've also taken tomato puree and some ginger julienne to go into my chickpea curry now we'll check our chickpeas which are almost done they are soft and tender but not very tender because they they're partially cooked um, and rest of it will be cooked when we uh, put it in a tempering so for tempering i've taken one vegetable oil in a deep pan followed by some crushed garlic I'm using vegetable oil and I'm adding my garlic in while the oil was cold and when my oil will heat up then by then my garlic flavor will go into the oil which actually gives very good flavor to whole recipe when especially when I add garlic to any of them that's a secret tip of mine <laughs> now I'm adding some um, onions which we grind it stir them and wait until they're translucent and we'll add some turmeric powder followed by some paprika 
and just some salt a pinch of salt because we have already added salt into our chick boiling chickpeas so I'm not I'm just adding to tender onions and tomatoes right now so we don't need a lot of it we'll add some water to my onions first and wait until oil separates now I'm adding some pomegranate powder or anarthana powder which gives this tankiness as well as a slight brown color to the chickpeas I'm not adding a lot because we have already added some gooseberries while chickpeas were boiling now I'm adding some tomato puree the gooseberries which we added will give a tanginess as well as a change in color when they will cook into thick nice quick chickpea curries at the end I can show you later we'll add some ginger julians uh, in chickpeas I like to add ginger julians which give this really good flavor to chickpea curries so I don't grind it when I make it add some water and mix it and we'll cover this to incorporate all the spices and until oil separates now after 5-10 minutes my all the spices has been incorporated I'm adding one crushed boiled potatoes but it is uh, absolutely op optional because we have already added chana dal or split chickpea lentils which will thicken our chickpea curry but if you don't have plenty of time and you want to serve it within an hour or so then potatoes does a very good job in thickening it up so that is a tip now we will add our boiled chickpeas into it and start boiling it and gradually within 30 to 40 minutes keep on boiling on medium flame uh, uncovered and keep on stirring it in in occasionally and you will see that it will start to thicken up and also the color will change into brown color which is a, a color for the ch uh, chickpea curry especially from Amritsar when where the city where it is famous from they have this brown colored thickened chickpea curry so which is I'm showing you right now so keep on uh, boiling and cooking and uh, in that time the chickpeas will soften more as I mentioned before so yeah uh, I'm just waiting until it thickens up and keep on boiling now after 30 minutes or so you can see my gravy has thickened up and the color has slightly changed as well now we will do a last tempering for that I have taken some vegetable oil in pan and I'm adding half teaspoon of paprika it, it gives really good color and as also gives nice aroma to our curry so it's optional you can do it but I like to do it so that's another step at the end add some water boil it and then add this gravy to our ready chickpea curry and after doing this I will turn off the flame and wait for another hour before I serve it that is the secret of getting thickened chickpeas so whenever you make chickpeas make sure you have plenty of time and you make a uh, head of time so that uh, the chickpea spices and the curry get thickened up as you can see I'm serving it after one hour and you can see the uh, chickpeas are perfectly thickened and the color is so good and you can serve it with rice roti and I will show you naan breads in future which you can which are amazingly flavorful for this and for tanginess I'm using lemon flavor lemon juice but uh, you can also use tamarind chutney enjoy make it at home and hope you like this recipe I'll see you soon with another interesting recipe 
until then take care bye